Isabella is 63 years old, single, professional, works full-time and has just moved to Wellington. She's lived with rheumatoid arthritis since she was 30, but most recently, Isabel's had pneumonia and been diagnosed with bronchiectasis, a condition in which the lungs airways become damaged. Like most ambulance services, Wellington Free Ambulance is caring for many more patients like Isabel who are older and living alone with a chronic health condition. Let's see what Isabel experiences when she becomes breathless. <laughs> what should I do? Uh, am I sick enough to call 111? Ambulances are only for emergencies. I don't want to bother anyone. Oh, where, where can I get help? Uh, I don't know anyone. I'm new. I don't want to fuss, but I'm getting worse and I, I don't want to overuse my inhaler. Is, is there anyone there? I need help. Hi, we need an ambulance, please. So, what's the matter with you, Isabel? Why didn't she call us before? Typical of the older generation, leaving things too late, thinking they're helping, but they're not. I, I, I know I'll, I'll be admitted to hospital like last time. I, I, I really need my things. There's no family or, or friends nearby to bring me my things later. I need my overnight bag for hospital. <laughs> We need to get you in the ambulance and to hospital. Your breathing's getting worse. If the bag is so important, why hasn't she got one packed ready to go? We need to get her to the ambulance and treat her breathlessness. But I... Why, why aren't they listening? I, how, how will I get my bag? I, I need my things. I, I give up. We need to get you in the ambulance. How long have we been on the scene now? Why is she living in an upstairs apartment? They're not listening. They're in control. She doesn't understand her own medical condition. I know there are more jobs waiting. Isabel did not complain about the care she received from the paramedics. From a clinical and operational perspective, the job was a success. However, when we talked to Isabel about her experience, we realise that what matters to us in terms of clinical and operational factors does not matter to Isabel. So, how could Isabel's experience be better next time? All right, what matters to you, Isabel? I live alone and I don't have any family or friends nearby. I, I know I'm going to be admitted to hospital, so could we take a minute to get together my... Overnight bag, please? Sure. We see that you're very short of breath and we need to get you to the ambulance and off to the hospital as soon as possible. But we can take a minute to get your overnight bag first. They are listening. I, I don't need to worry now. It's important to consider what matters to Isabel, as well as how long we've been on scene and the treatment she needs. OK, here's your overnight bag, Isabel. Let's get you downstairs. Is it easier to breathe when you're leaning forward? This is scary, but they're, they're listening to me and I feel reassured. Ambulance services measure and report on operational and clinical performance driven by the desire to achieve the best clinical outcomes for our patients. But there's a third measure that's just as important, and that's the experience of our patients, like Isabel. <laughs>